Hello and welcome. I'm Janet Cartwright, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm super happy to have you here with me today to create this card. It's our third one with autumn leaves, and I really like the colors that I chose. It's pumpkin pie and crushed curry, and they go so well together. Let me turn you down and get the camera up a little bit more if I can do it. Okay, so I have my stamps out on, on their blocks. So here's our pumpkin pie, which is going to be our base. So let me move these off to both sides here. Give me a little bit more working room. So, okay, so that's, let's see if I can get this up a little bit higher. Sorry for the jiggling. There we go, that's better. Now we have lots more playroom. And then I chose <coughs> this crushed curry. So this card is actually gonna go landscape like this and then <coughs> um, just plain white. Now there's a reflection happening right here. Okay, good, I've got it covered. So with this plain white, we are gonna do some stamping Hence the reason all of these stamps are out. But who didn't bring her in ink pads? Me. So here we go, crushed curry. And I'm thinking copper clay is a nice kind of fall brownish color. What about, or pecan pie. I think maybe pecan pie. Okay, so this is fun. We're going to stamp different things. Let's do a big maple leaf in crushed curry, but I'm not gonna do it full on. I think I'm gonna do, why are you, okay. So let's put it over here and let's get half the large maple leaf. Oh dear. Okay, so I guess we need to stamp off. Can I turn this over? What happens if I stamp off? Okay, that's better. So let me get another piece of white. And I'm going to have to cut this off screen because I've got some. Well, maybe I can do it here. I uh, have some ink there. So we want this four by five and a, no, we don't. So this one will be five and then I will trim it down. Because this already has a mat, I want it three and three quarters. There we go, so three and three quarters by five. And I might as well use that as a, no, you know what, save the paper. Let's get a, a spare piece here, my stamp off paper. So we're gonna do it this way. Let's get some ink back up on there. Stamp off the whole thing. Oh, good grief. That wasn't the paper. Okay. I am having a Monday on a Tuesday. No, it's even Wednesday. Okay, so three and three quarters by five. Okay. Now, am I awake, awake enough for this? So let's go like this. Get our big Okay, so that is stamped off. So let's go on the edge here and have our crushed curry. Then how about, um, let's move these two out of the way. How about we have some leaves? You know what, where did I, I like this one. 
Let's do this one maybe in pecan pie. And I think this is an oak leaf. If not, let me know. Okay, so let's do an oak leaf. Mm -hmm. How about down there? Wow, that's nice and solid. Let's see what happens if we use a stamped off image. Okay, now we have a pumpkin pie. Those are our words. So this is supposed to be in there, but you know what? Let's do another stamp off. So basically we're making this look like falling leaves. Yes, okay. So let's do another one maybe like that. And then I also, what else did I thought I did? I thought I put the maple leaf uh, on a background, but I didn't because we have the inside of the maple leaf too. I remember why I didn't choose it because it's really unusual to see um, just the veins of the leaf. Okay, so we have one. Okay, so let's do, let's stamp off. And let's do this right. Okay, you're touching there. There we go. So now we need some pumpkin pie on here. So I want this not as strong. So we'll stamp this off as well, these leaves. And let's put some right there. How about one up here? And if they're supposed to be falling, let's point that one down. And then those leaves also have the veins for the inside. So if we stamp off once, twice, what do we have left with? Oh, too faint. Okay, so let's stamp off once, put it down there, and how about one right in the middle? Very fun. Now I need a leaf here, but you know what? I have these two dies out. Let's stack up the inks here, get our wet stamps out of the way. So I have these two dies and I have not cut the leaves because I wanted to see um, how I was going to put those colors together. So let's get that off and let's see. So we have some lots of orange. That was pecan pie. Do we want to do crushed curry? Let me pull it out and let's take a look. Crushed curry in leaves. I'm liking the idea. And so we can put these like this. And let's get the mini boss. Stampin' Up was so smart when they came out with a big min big mini boss, a big boss and a mini boss. I just love using them both. And it's, oh, when you have just little images and you use the mini boss, it is so quick, so much quicker than the big shot or just using the, the big boss. Okay, let's get some smaller maple leaves going here. This on the floor. All right, let's see if it, sometimes this works when I drop um, the die. Not that one. Let's see. There it goes. So there's the one. I love your the take your pick tool for so many reasons. There we go. Take the piece of paper off the back. Okay, now where do we want? our leaves. 
there. Can't pick it up. How about right there? Actually, when they fall, they kind of flutter every direction, right? So let's do that. Let's take a... That's not where the dies are. Okay, so we have some leaf dies. Oh, we have an oak die here. Okay, might as well just take it all the way out because this is getting all mixed up here. Look at that, a smaller oak leaf and a bigger oak leaf. And look at these two leaves. Okay, so what color shall we do these in? We have some oranges. Why don't we do oranges and pecan pies? So pumpkin pie. So I think peach pie might not work. Let's take a look. Peach pie work? Could, but I don't want to make too many colors to make it overwhelming. So here's pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. And then what did I say? Pecan pie. So I'm playing with colors as we're doing this. That's kind of a fun out of. I'm not sure which ones we need. So let's do all three of these in the two colors. Let's bring up our mini boss again. So we're going to do the oak leaf and these other two smaller leaves. And I can pro could have probably cut my pumpkin pie down. However, here we go. Okay, so there we have our pumpkin pie. One, two, did this one pop out? Yep. This one? Yep. So now let's do them in pecan pie. And I love how the mini boss goes backwards and forwards. So you don't have to take out and pull over here. Okay. And then we'll have some fun. There we go. Arranging those. Come on off. All right. Let's see what we can come up with. Sorry, I disappeared for a second because I remember I need two punches for the saying, or a punch. Okay, so we have our dies over there. Whoops. There it goes. Move our paper off to the side. Okay. So now we have a mixture. Let's put them over here. Okay, I think I want this crushed curry here, but I'm going to point it down. And how about an oak maple leaf with another leaf peeking out behind it? We need something down there. Okay, so let this, the saying, oh, look at that, I've already cut it out. I'm ahead of myself. So this die is part of the die set that comes with. So you, we've got a long rectangle one and then a square one. So I was ahead of myself and I didn't need my punches. That's okay. So this is the shape that it comes up with. So we are going to put in there with, hmm, let's do pumpkin pie. And this saying is today and every day. So right here, today and every day, I'm gonna put in the middle, I'm thankful. So let's get this one on the outside. And then we can play with how we want to put those leaves. Okay, so 
that's wet. So we can put this maybe right there and we're gonna pop it up. So maybe this leaf in the corner, these are confusing me. Um, so that end, end in yellow. I'm thinking that's, like I say, I don't want it too overwhelming, but I like that. Let's take a look at hard base. Let's see if I can slide it under there. Okay. Wow, what do you think about that idea? Put the, the crushed curry down, but then pop this up in the corner. Mmm, that's different. I like that. That sets off the whole card. Okay, let's pop this one up first and we'll use the big dimensionals or pop-ups. So let's put this down first and then the others I think we'll do glue dots. Well, I guess I could use glue. So there's that one, and we're also going to be adding some twine. So, yeah, let's use some glue. Let's get this little guy in his spot. Oh, my glue is running right away. I don't have to squeeze it. Yay! Because then I would have had probably a clump come out, and I can't pick it up. And then that would have made too much glue. This one here, because leaves always fall downwards, right? Well, I guess they can flutter any direction. So let's do downwards. Very nice. Now, you know what I thought of? Let's take a wink of Stella and let's make these glitter. There we go, lots of glitter, love it. They're catching the light as they fall. Okay, so let's get this one. I don't think I've ever put Wink of Stella on something so dark, so this is good to know that it works really well. Love it. And you know, let's do I want to pull this? Yeah, let's pull this down a little bit so that that one leaf, or maybe I can't. Okay, if you pull super slow, sometimes you can get them off. Just pull it down a little bit so we can see all of that leaf. Okay, so then this one is going to be popped up. I was going to put that's okay I've still got two more cards this week this little design by here see it doesn't cut anything out but it'll make that design that's okay I can do it in tomorrow's card look what I just did I put it down on okay pull carefully Okay, so let's put this up in the corner. I liked what that looked like. Okay, so how, how am I doing? Am I getting it up there in the corner? There we go. Well, pretty close. Can I get it up, do you think? I wonder, do you think if I did it the other way around and put the yellow on top of the white? Come here. Okay, let's try again. There we go, I think we did it. Yes. So there's the one level. Let's 
So now we're gonna turn this over and this one will be glued down. And then we're gonna put our twine on. And you know, I was thinking how fun it would be to try a triple bow. Can you see me putting this on here? Yes, I like it up at the top right now. How about, I have never done this. How about a triple bow? Might be too much. So how do we, okay, so I guess I go like that. And then bring it like that. And then let's give it a go. Keep my thumb in place, make sure they're all together. There we go. Okay, so which one do I pull on? This one. Okay, well let's get our edges here so that I know what I'm pulling on. That's actually very fun. Okay, you go down there. Now is that too big? Yep. Let's get the right little pieces here. Where are you? There you are. Through there and around there. Okay. There's that one smaller. There's that one smaller. I think one of them didn't pull. And which one didn't? No, not that one. Not that one. There we go. Okay, so let's pull it tight. Get all the strings to go down. What do you think? I think that looks fun. Okay, so let's put a glue dot wherever my glue dots went. Okay, so the strings are at the back. extra kind of pull downwards and there we go and then use my take your pick tool and just gently kind of isn't that fun all right so let's trim off a little bit of these so they're all kind of even that is very fun. Maybe bring it down a little bit so that it's not hiding the everyday. There we go. And now we need some bling. I'm thinking that a clear one would work. Because these, not sure, don't want snowflakes. Don't want peach pie. This one. I like these ones right here. So these are adhesive backed swirl dots 163464. And I'm going to use these beige ones up here. So they're like an off white. So let's put that over there. An off white with the swirl of. It's not pecan pie, but it looks like it's very close. And then maybe turn around. There we go. And then up there. Very fun. Very fun. Okay, so let's put that away. This is popping up a little. Now the inside, we need to go this way and what did I say I'm thankful so here we go and it's too big for this I don't think so there we go so I'm thankful and what should we do this way and how about we do pecan pie 
but we're going to stamp up because I don't want it super dark. So here we go. Stamp off. And how about we go over a little bit? Oh, boy, when you stamp that one off, that, hmm, let's try that again. Make sure it's well inked. Okay, well, I definitely pushed down more in there. It's all over the stamp. Nope, still not nice. So I guess this one will be full strength. There we go. Yes, definitely what I'm looking for. And then out of all our images here, how about we take this one and this one was an orange. So let's do some branches, some veins. You know what, just just because I can. Let's go like this. Love it. So then this goes on the inside of the card. Very, very fun. I love it. Each card we make is so different. And it, you know, it could be the exact same set, but our imaginations are so different. If you've worked with this set, I'd love to see what you have created. There we go. A little bit of glue on my finger. So there is today's card. Isn't that awesome? Very fall. Like fall-ish. I mean, what would you say, right? So thank you so much for joining me today in creating this lovely fall card. I love it. And I hope you come to join me tomorrow for card number four with Autumn Leaves. Take care and have a great day. Bye for now.